Have you ever wondered what would happen if you went 10 days without any artificial sugar, gluten, dairy, alcohol, or coffee? Well, I do because I recently just did a 10 day detox. In today's video, I wanna share with you my experience and how it made me more creative. Now, if you'll just excuse me, I gotta grab these cucumbers here. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Daniel Mogg, filmmaker and photographer based out of Seattle. And today might be the most important video I've ever put out. It has nothing to do with cameras or content creation, but all about my recent 10 day detox and how it helped me be more healthy and more creative. It's all based on Dr. Mark Hyman's book, The Blood Sugar Solution, 10 day detox. The detox includes no artificial sugar, dairy, gluten, caffeine or alcohol for 10 straight days. No more dairy, no more wheat, no more sugar. Sugar, wheat and dairy, okay. Yeah. What the f left? Sorry. Isn't everything sugar, wheat and dairy? Yes, my thoughts exactly. Basically, I just ate protein, nuts, and non-starchy veggies for 10 straight days. There's a lot of free resources online on how to do this detox, but if you really want the full experience, I'd recommend getting the book on Amazon, and I put the link in the description. For me, I had just a couple reasons why I wanted to do this detox. I got COVID, unfortunately, in the fall, and that just kind of messed up my system. I've always had a little bit of a sweet tooth, so I wanted to curb those cravings, and then obviously, living in Seattle, I love coffee and the experience of coffee, but I would get headaches at certain times if I, if I didn't have my coffee. And I just didn't really like having the substance with that much control over me. So I wanted to kick my caffeine cravings. And then lastly, I was just looking a little bit for like an inspiration or a spark creatively. I, I just hadn't felt that great going into the new year. And I was hoping this full reset would really help me and give me a boost in the creativity and overall wellness department. Let's start with an overview of the detox plan, the prep days. There's two days leading up to the 10 days that you'll want to use for your prep. Those worked really great for me. One, to get all of the bad stuff out of your house, sugars, temptations, really anything for me. I'm someone that if it's out of sight, out of mind, I'm gonna be okay. So getting all those things out of my house. And then for me, I really did have to kind of wean off the coffee. I'm normally a two cups a day type of person, maybe three if I'm pushing it. So those last two days leading up to it, I just had one eight ounce cup of coffee. So I would recommend if you're an avid coffee drinker like me to take some time uh, to lower your caffeine dose. And the basic meal plan for this detox is a breakfast smoothie, which Dr. Hyman writes about a couple great smoothies in his book that you can make as right as you wake up. And then 10 to 12 nuts for a morning snack lunch, which consisted generally of some type of soup or salad that was protein based an afternoon snack, whether veggies with hummus or some sort of dip. There's again, recipes in the book for that. And then dinner was a protein with a non-starchy veggie. And he has a list in the book that you can check out that has all the types of vegetables. Thankfully, my wife Lainey is a fantastic chef and she was able to really accommodate me through this and make recipes that tasted great. You can look at the recipes in the book for ideas or have a fantastic spouse as myself, who's an amazing cook, help you through this 10 day detox. And as much as the diet is the core of this detox, I really love the application part of it. Every day you had a morning routine of measuring your weight, different metrics, and then there's journal questions that are listed every single day in the book, talking about how you feel, and then there's a theme every single day as you're going through this detox. So while you're doing this physically, you're also mentally just taking notes of what's happening in your body and your mind. And for me, thinking about how I can change my relationship with food was huge because working in production, high stress, high stakes environment, it's easy to de-stress and just gravitate towards food and binge eat, different things like that. So taking the time to break down, think about my relationship with food and how it affects my everyday living was really a game changer. And the biggest game changer of all though was the nightly detox bath. I haven't taken a bath since I was a kid and was a little bit apprehensive about it at first on, on the first night and by day 10, I'm like, all right, let's get the hot water going. I got my candles, I got my Epsom salt and 
That time honestly was really transformational for me creatively. So I would just go in the bath. There's also a meditation practice that he recommends. So I would take my Calm app. I would do the first 10 minutes in the bath with Calm. There's a 30 day course on the Calm app that I really like, Mindfulness for Beginners. Um, that you can do and then after that I would just put on a, a film score soundtrack from either Interstellar or, or like the greatest hits of Hans Zimmer on Spotify and those 20 minute baths were honestly a game changer for me to just slow down and unlock my creative side of my brain and just give me that spark and boost I needed to start off this year. That's the basis of the plan I wanna go into now of what my experience was like over the 10 days. The first day honestly was not that bad. I was expecting it to be worse, but I was excited, I was determined, and first day was fine. Days two, three, four, they were pretty rough. I was starting to feel it. Oh my God, okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay as someone who likes to work out, I didn't have the energy. When I was having just those rough feelings of detoxing, getting out, and even just a 30 minute walk honestly helped me feel better. By day seven and 10, I was really starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. I could feel just the cravings going away. My palate started to change. I found myself wanting veggies as snack, not going towards like the pretzels or chips or different things like that, which is just like, really amazing to think about in just a short amount of time. And with that spark of creativity, that is day seven to 10, I was like, you know what? I should actually make a YouTube video around this experience. So I started to vlog. So I'm gonna share some of those clips with you guys. It's day 10 of the 10 day detox. I'm excited and proud to make it here. Just did my little morning routine, which is um, checking my weight. Uh, I lost about four or five pounds, which is really cool to see the results. That was never the goal, really, to losing weight. It was bigger than that. To see the results, the ded dedication is, is inspiring. I got my morning fiber, I'm make my protein shake here in a little bit, and do a little bit of reflecting on just the last 10 days and, and what I've learned. So I'm gonna do that and check back in with you guys here in a few. For me, this whole process was about making a short-term change for the long-term benefit. And I thought about what would happen if, if I don't take care of myself well enough, I would probably start to lose my creativity. And for me, creativity is everything. It's what I'm passionate about. It's what I enjoy doing. It's what I like to inspire other people to do. I'm gonna be a dad here soon in the next couple months. So there's just so many different factors going into it. And so I hope you guys, come with me on this journey this year to really take care of ourselves, you know, one as humans, but then also just as creatives, there's so much that goes into this industry, working around the clock, long hours, holidays, and I can appreciate the hustle. But to be our best and truest selves, we really have to be healthy physically, and then that'll ultimately make us more creative. Who knows what change we could create in this world with our creativity. And so I hope this video was inspiring to you. If you have any questions, please comment below. We'd love to, to encourage you if you're thinking about going on this 10 day detox journey. Thank you so much for watching. If this video was helpful, I'd really appreciate you hitting that like button and subscribing. I'd love to connect with you further as I'm putting out more content in 2023.